in Sweden, there's no uh, weather that could stop Swedish to go outside. It doesn't matter if it's raining, snowing, uh, strong winds or whatsoever, because they know what clothes that they have to wear. <laughs> So, då ska vi se här. In today's video I will talk about what to wear in Sweden during cold season and where to buy them, especially when you are in budget. There's a Swedish saying, det finns inget dåligt väder, bara dåliga kläder. It, it, it just means that there's no bad weather, just bad clothing. When I move here, uh, May 2019, it was spring with beautiful sky, blue sky, and the flowers are blooming and it was 12 degrees, but I was freezing, you know, because uh, and as a nation coming from a tropical country and, uh, you know, I used to live and work in Dubai for 13 years, I was not used to this kind of uh, natural cold weather, like okay there we have an air condition and so on but so i didn't have any appropriate um, clothing when i came here um i didn't know what to wear i didn't know what to uh, where to buy so now if you are new here in sweden or thinking to or planning to come here i hope the tips and the experiences that i will talk about will um, will help you let's talk about uh, some basics i would say that i'm not a fashion guru, uh, guru or fashion blogger blogger or whatever living here in sweden for three years i got this mindset that i'd better be warm than uh, being fashionable so anyway number one that you have to have is black jeans when i moved here um i didn't had or yeah maybe i had one trousers or something because I'm not a trouser person or an, I'm not a jeans person. I was not like that because when I was in Dubai, I was wearing dresses all the time. Number two, you should have hoodie or at least a sweater. Um, you could buy basic hoodie or you know the sweater in like for example in H and M that costs around hundred twenty nine or 149 to 200 and uh, if they have uh, those rea or sale then you will even get 60 sec for a hoodie or a sweater number three you should have a teddy so i i was i started using this right after summer when it started to you know when when the weather or the temperature started to drop so I have this teddy, I could just have t-shirt on and then this one and then, you know, I could go for a walk around and, you know, I will not feel cold at all. So this one I, I bought in uh, boost.com, it's online and I think, yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a fair, fair amount or I suggest that you could, that you should check online. Or even in this um, what they call this marketplace because here in Sweden people are very much into buying second hands so people are selling second hands online in Facebook marketplace and there you could you could uh, buy uh, very reasonable price number four it's a windbreaker jacket I think this one is really important because especially here in 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 the island because we live in Hana it's more windy than in the city because around the island you know it's an open area it's you know what is island so anyway anyway it's more windy here so it's good if you have this kind of windbreaker jacket because it traps the wind going through so you will not feel cold so this one you could buy stadium outlet or stadium yeah they are selling it like maybe 600 to 800 sec 
but it's a good investment you know uh, like for example this windbreaker jacket that i have right now i have been using it since i moved here since i came here and it's still still uh, in a very good condition and then number four it's parka i don't know how it's uh, actually pronounced this one that i have it's with the fur and uh, yeah it's it's uh, um, it's a bit thick it, it looks like wind windbreaker jacket also but it's uh, it's thicker yeah i bought this online in boost.com and and it costs uh, i think it's 640 brand name of this jacket is super dry but then you could um, of course like for example when i move here um i had to think of the budget or my budget because i couldn't spend a lot of money starting a new life or something maybe some of you could relate then how you could buy a winter jacket in a reasonable price in a good quality in some other places and then i think that is the basic clothing that you should have uh, like you could be fashionable afterwards you could buy this you could be fashionable you could have those other kind of clothes those fashionista clothes you know but that one is not basic it's i think it's just uh, you know it's an additional anyways the next one is about shoes um of course i think most people will have a rubber shoes yeah anywhere you could you could buy this yeah, uh, very cheap even even if it's branded or whatever stadium they have very good deal and also the good thing here is they have the uh, outlets stadium outlets so it could be cheaper there um yeah the, the next one i think for me uh, you need to have a uh, chelsea boots well chelsea boots it's for you know for autumn and it could be also uh, for winter one of these these shoes is uh, Riker. now it's my it's my brand okay number three it's uh, winter boots of course i have this uh, Riker again Riker uh, winter boots i specifically choose this one i bought this also from boots which cost me uh -huh. maybe 900 sec and um, i chose this one with the spikes you know because when it's snowing and the uh, uh, when when the road or the the water turns into uh, ice then it's very slippery and i'm very lampa i found this in in boost.com again so i i can recommend that you uh, buy a winter shoes with some spikes actually you can buy like for example you have your winter shoes already and you want to have a spikes you can buy something like this like a spike that you could just attach with your shoes i think class ulson have that one or and then the next one is headwear you should have at least one uh, what do you call this i forgot what it's called in english but now it's musa it's like this this one and you should have at least one of the that so when it's cold you have to cover your your ears and then of course don't forget to wear reflex or you know uh, reflector don't forget to to wear reflector as a matter of fact you know traffic Berket, the bus stations and so on they are giving away uh, reflector or liquid reflex because that's very important for us because um, on the winter season um, the sun goes down uh, very early like 3 p.m it could you know it could get dark very quickly so and yeah i think that's it thank you for watching and i hope i really helped you if you haven't subscribed to my channel please do and stay warm in a banner hey do